Good morning and welcome to the Serengeti Show Live where we're coming to you actually not from the Serengeti this morning but from Kili Golf and Wildlife Estate just outside of Arusha and um, I'm joined this morning by a couple of guests because we're going to be talking about not so much the Serengeti but what you can do before and after your trip to the Serengeti. So I've got Sally here from the Great Migration Camps. She's going to be telling us a little bit about how to get into Killy Golf, how to book, all the amazing things you can do here. I've got Simon here. He's also, he's the Killy Golf captain, actually, and he's going to be telling us about all the amazing things you can do here at the Killy Golf Estate. And I've got Stefano, and he's the guy who's in charge of the building behind us, which is the Killy Villas, which is a really amazing place that the guys stayed at last night, and I had breakfast at this morning, and it's really lovely. But anyway, to, to kick off the show, first question. When you come in to Tanzania for the very first time, you fly in, certainly if you're doing the Serengeti, you'll be flying into Kilimanjaro Airport, which is about half an hour down the road that way. And usually you get in in the middle of the night, you're barely seeing anything anyway, depending on what flight you've come in. And you kind of really want to wake up with a bit of bird life and a bit of Africa around you. And that is exactly what you get here at the Kili Villas. So I'm going to turn to Stefano first to tell me a little bit about why Kili Villas is so beautiful and why it is the first spot that you really want to wake up in on your first night or your first morning in Tanzania. Okay, um, first of all, uh, Kili Villa is special because of um, it is a place to start your safari and to end your safari. Because when you arrive in Kili Villa, first of all, um, we have very nice chefs, food is so amazing, and the quality of service, everything is fantastic in Kili Villa. And um, in Kili Villa, we are very close and uh, with Kili Golf, and uh, when you are staying in Kili Villa, you can play golf, and uh, a lot of activity we have in Kili Villa. And it is very um, place which you can arrive very first when you are coming from um, Kilimanjaro Airport. Mm. All right. From the main road to Kili Villa it is only um, 6.5 kilometers. Mm. Then you reach Kili Villa. So Kili Villa it is a very nice place to start and to end your safari. And uh, first uh, we have uh, um, air strips in mm. Kili Villa. Um, so a lot of things, many activity um, many guests, when they are in Kili Villa, they are very, very happy, and always we are doing good. A lot of a lot of people have a vision when they come to Tanzania of of the bush, and just to explain the Kili Golf and Wildlife Estate, it's actually I don't know how big it is, but I, I mean we're sitting here. All I can hear is bird life at the moment, yeah. and. I live in Arusha, which is down the road, and let me tell you, I, I do wake up to some bird life, but I also wake up to traffic and the mosque and a whole lot of other noises that is not kind of the bush experience that I know a lot of tourists are arriving to see. But as you say, the one thing with, with coming here to the estate and coming to Kili Villa is you're almost cutting out the city experience. A lot of people are coming for that bush experience immediately, so it's, it's lovely to wake up and not have to worry. and spend a couple of days here doing the activities, jump on a plane here, straight up to the Serengeti. So I'm going to turn to, to Simon to talk a little bit about the activities actually, because I know I go horse riding out here of a weekend, but there's a lot of other things you can do on the estate. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, I think uh, to explain what you don't realise is that in Tanzania you have a golf course, Kili Golf, which is uh, David Jones' design golf course. It is a championship golf course and is world-class. Um, the standard of it, the upkeep, etc., is kept in a world-class condition. So from a golfer's point of view, it is paradise. It you call really it a millionaire's is. golf course, didn't oh, you? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, you, it, I, I, I'm very, very fortunate in living here. Yeah. Um, and actually, I can walk onto the golf course whenever I want. Yeah. I can wander around the bird life um, and the wildlife on the golf course is incredible. The bird life is just phenomenal. Mm, mm. Uh, there's lots of water on the golf course, there's lots of, of water birds, mm. kingfishers, etc. Nice. Um, and we've got game on the thing. We've got 
uh, Garanuk and uh, Impala and Thompson Gazelles and Grants. Mm. Uh, so you're playing golf amongst them. It is an experience. It's a to very buy African for. golf course, which is, is kind of, you know, yeah. you tee off and you've got to wait for them to get it's off the green. <laughs> absolutely. And, um, and I think, you know, just uh, if you go into the driving range, which is, yeah. it's just got an incredible view, it just the avenue straight down the driving mm. range at Kilimanjaro. Mm. So when Kili is out, uh, like it was last night actually, it yes. uh, was spectacular. Yeah. You know, the sunsets, etc. around it, it is magnificent. It is very quiet here. Um, you, as you said earlier, you the, you just wake up with no sound, you're in the bush. Mm. Uh, Kili Golf and Wildlife Estates, about a thousand acres. Okay, good. Um, it is joined on to Dolly Estate, uh, which is a further 2,000 acres, mm -hmm. of which does have game as well. Yeah, they have big herds um, of eland, uh, which is amazing, yeah. and zebras, yeah, they, and yeah. Yeah. Well, all, the, all the plants come, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and hyenas, then, you might hear the hyenas at night, which yeah, is kind of cool. Absolutely. Gets you in the mood for the Serengeti immediately. Yeah, it's a very true. Um, and then, you know, from the estate, you have incredible walk, yeah. walks around the area. And there's the horse riding, as you mentioned earlier, mm. which is wonderful. And the horse riding does encompass Dolly Estates as well. So you do have a substantial area mm. with which you can go around. Um, I, I obviously love my golf. Um, <laughs> so that, that's my passion. Yeah. Um, and it is, it's, it's a passion that there is nowhere else in Africa that I know of mm. um, that you can actually come and walk onto a golf course mm. like we have in the middle of the bush, um, in the state that it is in, the golf mm. course itself, mm. which is, it's a genuine championship golf course. Mm. Um, and there's no else, you know, even the South Africans, etc., which are world well enough, but you got a book. Here, yeah, yeah. I can walk on any walk time on. I want. Very nice. And um, you can do it in the afternoon or in the evening, and it doesn't matter. So. After a long flight, coming in and oh. and sitting up and wandering around, stretching your legs on a golf course, wonderful exactly. place to start. And wonderful then you can go to the polo club for a drink afterwards because yeah, we absolutely. also have polo here yeah. too. Yeah. So for you know we've got the horse yeah. riding, but if anyone wants to just settle in on a Saturday afternoon and yeah. watch a couple of games, that's kind of the absolutely yeah. civilized thing to do. Yeah, yeah, there is, there is actually, um, and uh, there are professionals that live on the estate, uh, mm. birders, etc., who and guides that will take people um, yeah, here, yes. and I know they will, you know, through Killy Villas, they um, encompass guests and take guests. Yeah, around, so we can organise the bookings through you guys, absolutely. which is handy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. fantastic. So there are people that do that, and it's it is it's a wonderful place to start us for. Wonderful, well, and that's, wonderful which place. is the point what you were saying so it's basically you know end start here and end here if you yeah. like so yeah, it's absolutely. it's kind of you come here for the hot shower after yeah. you know camping yeah, yeah. out in the Serengeti for a bit yeah. the the food quality does definitely not go down but yeah no it's it's it is a, a beautiful place to stay as we can certainly attest and the other great thing about here as we mentioned is is the flying in and out so Arusha airport is of a morning with everyone in the high season heading out to the Serengeti, a bit of a chaotic scene. But here at Dolly's, we have an airport that. At, well, is, not the airport, but we have an airport. Well, we have an airstrip. Right. Um, <laughs> which is, is where uh, all of the local airlines that fly into yeah. the Serengeti and, and uh, all the national parks in the area, in the northern sector, um, they originate from. Here and they will call in at Dolly, mm. pick you up here and Dolly, which from Killy Villas is a 10 minute drive. Yeah, no. So yeah. It, it's wonderful after breakfast, get on an aeroplane, mm. and it's, it's simple and easy. Yeah. Um, it is a beautiful area to do it. Nice and simple too. Yeah. So Sally knows that I'm about to pass over to her. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Sally, you do all sorts of bookings all the time. I know that you guys have, have used here as well, but tell me. From, a, from the feedback that you've gotten from clients, tell me what they have been saying and why this is kind of the obvious and easy stop. Well, as everybody's mentioned, you know, people are coming out here primarily for wildlife and nature. And from a bookings perspective, you know, if you're arriving from North America, first of all, you've got jet lag. Mm -hmm. um, and 
often people arrive in the evening. Yeah. So, you know, it can be a quite overwhelming arriving in Africa for the first time because Arusha is a busy city and it's it really is a bit overwhelming, you know, buses and trucks and headlights like, coming sorts at of you and high beam. And yeah. it's dark and you turn off onto a dusty, bumpy road or something. So I really like using Kili Villa for our clients because um, particularly for groups and for families, mm. You know, it's like being in a house, it feels very comfortable, it's very familiar, it's quick to get here, you have a shower, you can go for a walk, you don't have to play golf, it's really nice for walking or jogging <laughs> too. <laughs> true, that's true. Um, and, you know, people relax, mm. and that's the feedback that we get. You, come, you have fresh fruit, mm. um, well-cooked meals, you have staff who caring for you, and you feel very <laughs> welcome. Um, yeah. And... For me, for clients coming on safari, it's easy. Mm. You know, it's not a, you know an hour or two hours to get into Arusha from Kilimanjaro Airport. Mm. And as you said in the morning, you know, a lot of our clients, particularly from North America, we keep them here for a whole day mm. at least before going on safari because you have time to catch up. Yeah. Um, you don't have to go into Arusha at all. Mm. Um, so you can swim in the pool, you can relax, there's Wi-Fi, yeah. <laughs> you can let everybody know you're safe. Yeah. Um, and that's a very big part of people's experience, yeah. is feeling comfortable on arrival. Yeah. Um, and then what tends to happen is that people really want to come back here at the end, because now they've had the safari before they go back, they actually just want to wind down a little bit and, you know, send their pictures, because, you know, you don't always have good internet on safaris, you yeah. get that here have a round of golf, go horse riding. Um, we have a lot of friends from Zanzibar mm. that come as well. Um, it's a great spot for all Dar es Salaam. I mean, you must have obviously a lot more, Stefano. Mm. Um, and it's it's a very nice local product, not just for international visitors. Mm. Um, as you said, you live in Arusha and come out here anyway. <laughs> we live in Rashi and we come here anyway. So. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a fantastic stop and really works well for our clients because mm. of the ease for getting to the Serengeti. Mm. And because you have such a beautiful space, mm. you know, I mean, you really are waking up to amazing bird life. And that ah, sound... A hoo I'm sorry, I've been looking at yeah. the shop <laughs> because there was a hoo just over there. I saw you get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's comfortable and lovely and that's the feedback we get. So mm. that's why we book it. Perfect. The, um, I, what you mentioned was you, we've got some friends staying at the moment with us from Zanzibar. They've popped across for the weekend. You can fly here directly from Zanzibar, which also means you can fly from here to Zanzibar too. So for the whole bush and beach experience as well, which is what a lot of people want to combine. Mm. But next door, we've got some people from Kenya, don't yes, we? Yes, from Kenya. We've got, we've got another golf captain in yeah. town, apparently. Yeah. So, um, so people do come down here, and, and that is also the message. You know, We've got high season, we have low season here, and you can get some really decent deals to, to yeah. sort of come and stay and fly Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Like it's, it's really worth kind of checking that out, so and get online. It's, yeah. a very, sorry, yeah. it's a very popular place for us, particularly with families. Yeah. You know, with our, it's a home feel. Yeah. You know, there's the Kelly Villa's got two ten bedroom. Yes, we villas. got uh, yes, we got um, seventeen bedroom mm. because we have um, um, four villas. Um, three villa is exclusive villa for family, and uh, one villa we sell by rooms. Yes. Right. We call it oh, the lodge at Kelly Villa. Logic That's right. Know, it's very handy uh, for us. It's not yeah. just families yeah. or groups. Yeah. If you're yeah. one or two, yeah. you, you can just have a room yeah. and stay. So okay. it is a very nice place, um, actually. And there are many people who don't know here, when they are coming from Arusha, yeah. they are very surprised that oh, <laughs> we never know this place before. I had no idea before. it was here. We have no idea that there is a place like this. Yeah. In Kili you can stay here and very quickly, just five minutes, you can walk to Kiligo. Mm. Okay? Mm. To golf course. So it is something amazing for them and when they are coming, they say, no, we, maybe they book for just two days, they say we need to have more days, <laughs> it is possible. <laughs> you know, so it is very nice place to, yeah. to come, to visit and to stay. Yeah. yeah it is very amazing place. Final word to Simon? Who? Um, yeah, I just, I, I think it's, it's, it's something you don't expect. That is yeah. what you get here. You you just find it's an amazing place to come in the middle of Tanzania mm. and find a, a, a green area yeah. like we have here. Um, 
and the other thing is I, I think the weather oh yeah the weather yeah. in uh, in this area um, is we I think our average rainfall is about 650 millimeters yeah. a year and yeah. we have the two rainy seasons you mm. know the short and the long rainy season mm. um, we're in the short now we're in the short rainy season now but when it rains here it rains for half an hour or yeah. an hour no, exactly. or it rains early in the morning and then it's beautiful sunny days for the mm. rest of the time yeah. I I honestly can't uh, I don't think I've not been able to play golf here uh, for more than five days in the whole year wow. Yeah. That that is no, that is go. something that is unique. Paradise. It is. <laughs> um, it is unique. Absolutely yeah. unique. Um, yeah. So that's that's part of it, you know. And it's the access yeah. and the availability to be able to actually get in an aeroplane, fly into yeah. wherever, or get in a motor car. Yeah. You know, with with yeah. all the the new bypasses etc. Yeah. around Arusha, it, it's yeah. quite easy from here. Now, no, it's true. Which wasn't the case a few years ago. There are, now it is. There yeah. are other national parks. Arusha Absolutely. National Park is very close, yeah. actually. So Absolutely. I know we're talking Serengeti, but actually there are many other parks here on the Northern Circuit that mm. a lot of people do come into. Absolutely. From here, with the bypass, it adds on another half hour. We are down in Manyara in two and a half hours. We're at Tarangiri in the same time. Absolutely. Arusha National Park is probably 15 minutes from yeah. here. Yeah, it is. Which <laughs> is great. It's, it's literally what yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not very far away. I, the Sameli is there at the moment, I believe. Leave, so they're yeah, on their way through so yeah. the Ellies have come over yeah. which is nice but um yeah so that's that's today's episode guys we can't emphasize enough that you do not have to fly into Tanzania and immediately be in the dust and smoke of a big city this is around here in Killy Golf and Dolly's estate there's there's golfing there's horse riding there's beautiful lodges to stay in you can immediately arrive into the bush setting and start your safari off on the best way or end your safari and wash off the dust here with a little bit of a relax before you get on the plane. Thank you very much to everyone and thank you very much to our sponsors as well as you can see down here. So Auric Air are one of the guys that fly into Dolly's estate which yes. is fantastic. We love them. Our Blink Technology guys couldn't do this without them. Obviously great migration camps are here. We've got Serengeti Acacia camps. We'll be back up in the Serengeti in the coming weeks and we'll be filming from there quite soon as well. Kelly Villas, thank you for allowing us to stay. Very happy about that. Lamala will be hanging out at Lamala camps in the very near future, which is fantastic. Obviously our favorite balloon guys, so Miracle Experience and Tanapa. Thank you so much because all of the national parks and all of the wildlife and everything we talk about are being well looked after by our local Tanapa guys. So thank you very much everyone and we'll see you again next week. <laughs>